Hi everyone, welcome to our Fashion Fall Showcase for 2021. It is called Remember That and it provides a teaser, a taster of what is to come in the spring fashion show, which will be a live fashion show. But here we have our video of our fashion showcase. Please enjoy, thank you. fashion showcase video I designed and made an outfit out of masks which was actually for my English project and I'm happy with the way it came out with the amount of time that I had and I really hope you guys enjoyed the video <music> and to start things off we have a mood board as well as a color wheel both done in design class and next up we'll have another mood board these were all made so we could map our, our ideas for our projects these next two slides are both passion projects of mine i'm making a series for bio called potheads to represent the circle of life as well as the fungi and stuff like that for these next two slides, these are our typical homework assignments, so we have to draw jackets or pants or something like that, as well as write a description for them. These next two slides are both designs of mine. Um, this was just for fun. This one was for the book project. I chose Narnia, and I decided to call my line the back of the closet. This was the line of action project, so we had to mark out the line of action to show how a body moves, as well as some pen work of mine. And lastly, just another passion project. So, thank you for watching. Now, I want to tell you, there's nothing as ridiculous as someone so fundamentally stingy and fundamentally earthy as a Capricorn dealing with fire <laughs> in an objective way. Okay, hi, um, this is a project I did for my illustration class. We had to choose something that inspired us and make it a, a design app based off of it. Um, I'm filling around my shirts as you can see. I chose uh, to do a design based off the ties between roller skating and the black community. So, it's really interesting, you should check it out. Um, so basically I'm just playing around, making shirts really badly. 
<laughs> I really enjoyed this project, got a lot of free will, and I really enjoyed my topic. Um, I learned a lot. So, um, yeah, enjoy.
calls me day and night I'm sorry girl, you just don't make me feel right I never meant to make you cry, you were right Just leave me be, I'm not gonna put up a fight And every time you wake up feeling worse And then you check the time It's never what it feels like, just throw me a dime if everything was good, then you would feel alive Now I want you to take that pen and trace around that. Okay. And then I want you to put another one up here, you know, so it'll go like that and do mm -hmm. the exact same thing. Same thing. And that's gonna be your skirt. Okay. And then we'll we'll put it up on the form. You're gonna have to glue it. Yeah. And now you're just trying to scissors. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Okay. And you can have some curly, some straight. Yeah. Cool. Really cool. Is that too much? I think too much. Okay, so we can slash it and um, uh -huh. close it. Okay. How much do you want it closed? Um, like. this one down. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I don't think I'd put a whole strip down. I think I'd do it maybe in sections. For fittings. But, you know, if this is unpanned and this just kind of sticks out, that's okay too. I'm good. And then trim, trim this, trim your magazines off on this 
edges. You said you wanted to leave it uneven here, right? Mm -hmm. but, but having a glue gun, right? That's what I told my kids. They learned how to use a glue gun when they were like seven years old. <laughs> and I said, they kept crying. And I said, look, if you want to use the glue gun, it's going to hurt. <laughs> I said, you just have to rub it really quick. Yeah. and one of the things that we've been doing in fashion design this year is to design a project inspired by a book. So the book I picked was about an exhibition of the Hullengrach by Eddie and Nancy Keinholz in the Museum of Contemporary Art in San Diego. The Hullengrach is a red light district in the Netherlands and Keinholz made a full recreation of it in sculpture. I called my collection The Feminine Condition as women's sexualities are constantly depicted in the media in order to sell products or to manifest clicks on the internet. However, the act of a woman taking back her sexuality and using it for her own monetary gain is taboo and viewed as dirty even today. So this is my mood board. Here are my designs. As you can see, I'm extremely inspired by the picture frames within the Keinholz's artwork. Commentating on the perpetuated culture of treating women as objects made to look picture perfect and pretty 24-7. I also wanted to depict the impossible beauty standards in which women are held to even today. The unobtainable standard for which women are expected to be both modest and show as much skin as possible versus the general unobtainable beauty standard of kind of a Kardashian body type. So these are the fabrics that I want to use for this design. These are my flats, which is a technical sketch of my illustration designs. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.
a land of tradition. A place of mystery. China's forbidden city. He was the Lord of 10,000 years. He was the Son of Heaven. He was three years old. He was the last emperor. Just made wearing a leather jacket with chains. It is a belief not to be incorporated into the existing system and an attitude to break the current boring state. Pong could be interpreted and expressed differently, and there is no correct way to express a punk. I expressed punk in my own way through my designs and garments.
Thank mm-hmm. you.